What up, everybody? My name is Connor, and welcome to the maybe final episode of the park. I think we're nearing the end. We just, um, sorry for my absence, by the way, too, for this series, because I wanted to finish this up. So last time we were, um, going through the mind insanity that we call our home, I'm guessing. Home sweet bitter home, as she said. And now we have apparently fallen into a, uh, there has to be a library. Hear music. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? This person, uh, our, uh, character's going a little bit insane. I forgot her name, man. I feel bad. So, we've landed ourselves, it looks like, to be in a library, or what could be Nafel Winter's house, which is the creative Atlantic Island Park. Looking around. Here's a page. Kids broke in today. It has been so long since I heard laughter. So long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast, and the others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirling in the time of his gasps and shrieks. I think he was. this was delighted. delightful. The change brought into me by my machines, but not yet complete. There must be other children to lay on my slab. Oh my god, this guy's stealing people now? Nafel is as messed up as everyone else in this park. It is dark in here. I no longer can run. I'm still low six still. Hmm. It's really dark in here. There's books everywhere. So I'm thinking we could continue by the fireplace. without a sparkle. Wow. Hmm. So I can't turn that off. It's a maze of its own here. Examine our book. Oh no. The tale of Hansel and Gretel. Oh. 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 Oh, what? Did this book have a string on it or something? Where are we going? A secret compartment. It looks like this might be under the facility and everything. The whole park here. Oh, what? Calm. Calm! Watch it, watch it. Watch the staircase. Oh, no. He's on the table, on the slab. Calm. He's not dead, though. Calm! Oh, Chad! He's here, too! He's. They're all here! Is that a Cthulhu shirt? Where did that ice pick come from? Oh, it's our friend. The boogeyman's here today. Oh 
my god. Whoa! Oh boy. That is so messed up. Was that real? Like, I know, I know the part with the house is like, imagine, but what happened? What was real? Oh. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine, here we Lorraine. go. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Wait, he said that at the beginning. What? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Dreamlike state. Was that was that real? That's the end. Oh my god. Okay, it was the boogeyman. So that was him. So that was one awesome crazy game. I was not expecting that ending. I thought we were gonna save Callum, but instead we ended up murdering his ass. Wow, man, that that's a lot to take in. That was a great game. I highly recommend anyone who wants a psychological horror to definitely get this game because this game looked beautiful and it was actually pretty scary. I thought there would be more scares, like kind of like Spooky's House of Jump Scares, but I w it was sure more psychological horror than I would think than actual like eye to eye horror. So yeah, that was the park. That was a really good game. I didn't know that it was that much left of the game. I thought there would be a little bit more to explore in probably that area, but. We ended up murdering Callum, and that was it. Yeah, man. That was one interesting game. And there he is. The park. Alright. And there's the Ferris wheel. A nice little end card there. Alright, so uh, I guess this is a short one today. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. My name is Connor. I hope you enjoyed the park, the whole series. Tell me what next horror game I should play. I got a few on my mind, but I want to see what you guys can think of. But thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more content if you liked it. Make sure you like the video. And I'll, as always, I'll see you guys next time. So apparently, uh, to, for uh, a, a reason being that I had to start up a new file because I did want to show you guys two things that I actually missed. So I'm going to replay the game real quick. Not like the whole thing, but apparently... You can leave the park, and I even know this. Like, if you go past this, like right at the beginning, you could literally just straight up leave the park. So we're gonna, we can't run still because we haven't learned how to do that. But I got some stuff I gotta show you still because we almost got all the achievements. We're only just missing two. So we got the ending, and now there's one where if you walk all the way up here, we got some mist coming in here. A lot of mist, actually, to be honest with you. Whoa. What am I thinking? I can't leave. Lorraine, please. Uh, how? How do I get back? What am I thinking? I can't leave. It's just a white screen. <laughs> The rain, are you gonna wake up? Oh, there we go. 
So we can't leave, it looks like. Lorraine Strip just won't let us leave. So, there's also one more thing as well that's over here before I go head back into the park and figure out our very final secret. Because I have to go replay a bunch of stuff. I wonder if I can skip a few things and just go straight there. I gotta go test it out. So apparently if you head in the parking lot, there's a few things, or maybe one thing I saw. Uh, let me just see. It's on a rock, I believe. Check it out. I should have been more explorer in the, like at the first part. I wasn't thinking because it's like the first time I started the game, it's like, oh, what would happen? So it's not over there. It's not in the trash can. It's somewhere here. I know I'm just not walking endlessly. I, I know what I'm doing here. Ha, ah, here we go, here we go. Kids, you gotta admire their imagination. A kid from the academy told me a story. So don't blame me if it sounds silly. You might have been poking fun at a poor townie, but I'm writing this down because the league needs to know, William D. Someone is living in Atlantic Island Park. At night, you can see him there, tall and thin and ragged. A man in a suit who seems to disappear whenever he moves into the showers. Seven of the kids from the Innsmouth Academy snuck into the park over a fence one night. They wandered among the rides in closed stalls. They could feel like someone was watching them. When they went to leave, there was only six of them. The weirdest thing, though, is when they got back to the academy, none of the adults noticed that their kid was missing. It was like the adults had had their memories erased. That the missing kid and everything about them was just gone. The kid at front of the academy tried to remember. They called a man in a ragged suit, the boogeyman, and they said to be careful because if he gets you, the whole world might forget about you. Wow, so I guess that's... So I guess that's that's uh, Nafel Winter right there. I oh, I'm telling me I did this glitch again. Okay, hold on a second. Settings, uh, gameplay. I happened to glitch from the beginning when I first started the game, so this was something that happened. Uh, apply. Can I can I move? Yes, there we go. There we go. Now that's fixed. Because I had, to, I had to hold right click. So that was the one thing I wanted to show you guys. So now, on to the next thing. And I'll see you there in just a second. Another little thing I want to point out as well. I did miss this flyer as well here, which is actually the whole Atlantic Island Park thing. So welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I, when I first came to Solom Island, I fell deeply in love with the natural beauty. It's science. It's scenic place. And I created many of my best memories here. I wanted to create a place that captures essence of Solon Islands. I place a place where families would bring their children to create memories of their own. I invite you to explore the park that we have created from the Ferris Hill, which rivals the local lighthouse for the best views in the area, to Slideshow Alley, where many fascinating games and objects from the local area to explore and enjoy. Nafel Winter, otherwise known as the Boogeyman, from apparently from all this. So. Chad the Chipmunk recommends, which is our friend Chad, for the little ones, try the Tunnel of Tales for a gentle, family-friendly, retelling tale of timeless fairy tales. That sounds a little too slow. St strab an adult and jump in onto the bunker cars. Fill throttles of fun for everyone. For teens, pump your adrenaline for going on a spin cycle on the Octotron. Eh? When deny, deny the laws of gravity, an award-winning roller coaster. Finish it all up with the House of Horrors, but be warned, it might scare the fun out of you for big ones. Take a road kick spin on the Ferris wheel with your significant other and take in the natural beauty of Solana. Follow up with the stroll through the exotic sights and the wild games of Slideshow Alley. There, truthfully, is something for everybody at Atlantic Island Park. Drink bingo. 
once you left Atlantic Park, there's nothing so much to do here on Solo Island Park. Present a, this brochure to our local business partners to save big money. Place to eat. The Sunny Deli, whenever a light snack or something more substantial, like the Sunny Deli, you can find a, uh, or the Sunshine Deli, I should be saying. Related to satisfy your cravings, 551734. Susie's Diner, which is the place we used to work at. Layback Dining is in the heart of Kingsmouth. Susie's is the best place to go meet the friendly locals and sample her famous cans preservatives. 5551362. The Lobster Trap. When in Maine, eat lobster. The Lobster Trap is the freshest, finest seafood that exists. Renovations are welcome. Or reservations are well are recommended. 5551113. Five, five, one, 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 Places to sleep. Look over moat. Went by Eddie Stone. The look over hotel. It kind of looks. They said like kind of looked like moat on the first word. Has the best beds on the island, for the most reasonable prices. And the best part is the motel is located just a few hundred meters up the road from Atlantic Island Park. Jack and Wendy's bed and breakfast for those who prefer a more intermediate setting. Jack and Wendy's have several beds available when they are very popular during the season, so call early to avoid disappointment. 555-17755. Alright, that's all I want to show you guys there, and let's continue on to what may be the final part. And for the final bonus clip I could show you, apparently we did miss something at the bumper cars. We never went back for the right side. And apparently it turns out there's a little box here that gives you a cutscene. And that was what electric shock therapy looks like. So now we have 100% the park. Like 100, 100% the park. That was every little secret that we missed throughout the park. And I want to do that so, because literally you could literally just walk through the whole thing without even having to do all the rides and stuff. So now, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the 100% walkthrough of the park. I thought it was one amazing trip from all the different uh cliffhangers to like literally every single part of suspense and all the scares i hope you enjoyed the park make sure you recommend what horror game i should play next as i said earlier when the game actually did end and as a further ado we should say one final goodbye to atlantic island park thank you guys for watching my name was connor and I hope to see you guys next time bye bye